guys, I did it! It's early in the season, day 4, and I finally reached King of Games very early. This deck is insane. I love XC summoning. It's so great. Now, a lot of people have issues with this, and it's understandable. And we'll talk about that later. Oh boy. But I actually have some replays before I shove them away. I believe some of them were. Yeah, March 3. I have a handful of replays I want to show here. Before I, before I go for trying to record the COG ones. Here we have me. Oh, yeah, this wasn't even me playing Chris the Beast. I was memeing because someone in the comments wanted me to play Stormbird Castle, and that's what I did here. Don't worry, the Dark World dealing is I cut it off later. But, yeah. Uh, let's take away the character lines. I was playing with character lines. So, yeah. Power the Guardians! What? Keck, wait. I don't understand. Fate the negation with dealings. The one thing dealings was good for is because of this. But yeah. Uh, first of all, what I really wanted to address is some people's reaction to the ban list that I don't really agree too much. And actually, a lot of players don't agree much how people complain about it to the extent that they are. Could they have done more with the ban list? Yes. But there's also reasons that they shouldn't have done those hits people were expecting. People expected like a hit on water and a hit on Onomats, which is understandable to an extent. But both of these decks only just became relevant with the last mini box. First of all, that's poor financial decision on Konami's part to hit both of those decks. Second of all, nobody enjoyed these decks long enough. They lasted for like a Casey Cup. But you may be wondering, oh, Dark Lord Star Serve basically lasted a Casey Cup. Well, the thing is, Dark Lord Star Serve was actually around longer. It just wasn't popular. But people started playing it once it won global, and the deck was actually pretty cancer. So they're pretty around. They're annoying. Thankfully, I beat it one and put them in their place. But a lot of people expected more hits. And the other thing is a lot of people also expected balance. Uh, we're not expecting that. Uh, they were complaining about balance nerfs for whatever reason. Because honestly, I think the balance skill was actually kind of degenerate and it kind of ruins deck building theory. And it's very uncomfortable seeing just those any kind of starting hand manipulation skills. Now, a lot of people counter argument with this. It's with the whole Animas literally has a skill that makes him super consistent. While that's true, one is archetype specific. Two, it's supposed to replicate a search spell that they're probably never gonna give us. So might as well make it a skill. And the fact that many other uh, characters are getting consistency skills at the same level as well. I think it, I think the most you can do for a nerf be a one for one card and I'd be completely fine with that. I won't kill it. But I'd rather lose Trune because that is what kind of makes it degenerate on the ladder specifically. Even so, uh, I don't think I won too many games just because of Trune because if they have one back row, mm, that's not gonna really affect Sister at all. Like, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> so, the whole hitting turnade is something limited Dota to draw, it kinda doesn't do much. They can't suck with turnade anymore, true. But, but, you know, only time can tell. But let's get things in order. The most satisfying thing about the ban list, in my opinion, is that Desperado, out of all the top tier decks, was the one majorly addressed. Uh, there was a little balance because Noble Knights was almost tier 0 next to Dark Lords and both of them only got skill hits because the skills weren't actually what really carried the deck. But I'll talk about Noble Knights in another moment. But Desperado was really the, one of the most cancerous decks in the current meta because it literally just sacks 
on advantage that they shouldn't guarantee of and even so a lot of luck based makes it kind of annoying nobody likes to lose to a coin toss skill i'd rather see that their normal summon monster guarantees a pop kind of like alternative not a normal summon but you know you get what i mean then oh 25 percent chance unless my skill says otherwise and then the two major cards that made it annoying and almost impossible for more fun decks to try to play against was misjudge and head judging. I addressed them before. Now maybe it was too hard to say both of those cards to be banned because individually they kind of just suck. It's just as long as Desperado can't play it with Cup of Ace it's fine and that's exactly what they did. Pretty good on Konami's part. I like how they also hit the skill where you can't conduct your first normal draw as a way to discourage cutting a cup of ace for misjudge or head judging for the coin flip requirements. So they're actually pretty forced to use both cup of ace because of the nerf skill, which is actually super interesting. We never really thought of that. It's interesting. But honestly, I still don't like the idea of cup of ace still existing in duelings, but as long as Desperado is pretty pretty dead because it was never really a good deck to begin with it's just sacks in the first couple of coin toss cards it gets and well yeah that's pretty much what the deck does i'm glad that was addressed now i hate so much and i found people that agree oh god nerd i hate so much when people say noble knight is dead because they hit balance the way they did first of all you can play noble knights any way you want. It still has Merlin, it still has all of his equip spell, it can still have access to True Aid if you really hate back row that much. It has everything. Just don't play dirty cards and just play a different skill. You still have Merlin equipped the same powerful combo. And even then the one back row doesn't really do anything, especially since people run lens, uh, forbidden lens anyway. Or there's little to no back from the meta currently too. And this almost comes to the thing I said about Karma Cut, where I wanted a hit because of the discard giving advantage to both Desperado and Noble Knights, and so did Blue Eyes, but they didn't got touched because Konami's bias about it. We all know Konami as was always biased with Blue Eyes, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, I like this change is better because Karma Cut itself didn't need to be semi-limited, I just didn't like when very good decks abuse the fact that the cost of the card isn't a cost. Oh yeah, Fatal 5, yeah I was memeing here so hard. It was hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, it, they didn't have to hit Karma Cut like I said in my video. The other thing I wanted to mention is what about the other decks? Why can't we hit them? Why didn't they get hit? First of all, Thunder Dragon is also kind of new, but at the same time, Thunder Dragons suck relatively because both Water Exceeds and Anomas kind of screws them very, very hard. All I have to do is summon Roach and Bouncer, and it's kind of like an auto loss to... It really just is an auto loss to Thunder if I do that board. No, don't worry, I need to... I either need to have four, uh, specifically four Anomat cards in my... Anomat monsters in my hand, or manage to do the draw. But the first one would leave me with no comeback, which they can still get rid of Roach after all the destruction but yeah thunder dragons aren't really that good they're even they're even getting cut by blue eyes because of ashere kind of uh so there's that too because as soon as you see they play thunder you kind of don't care about negating you just want to protect yourself from those levies so yeah thunder dragons is pretty low down there blue eyes is slowly falling in popularity but not enough. I still see them around and I still don't like the deck. But hey, what can you do? Konami's biased about it. As long as we don't see them as much as we did in KC Cup, I think I'm fine at the moment. Like I said, Anomat and Water Keys are too new 
And even then, the way I hit him, it's kind of simple. I do think simulating Dota the Draw is fine. Or hitting the skill to only get one card. Like, the TG skill and the Photon skill. Because this one gives two. So I already told you why it gets two cards. It replicates one of their search spells. That we're probably never gonna have. And yeah, they're too new, and I think they want to promote XC since there was also a complaint how early Synchro era had no synchros. And we've been yearning for XCs for a long time and want XCs to just be good for once, which they are. Finally, good. <laughs> Everything is XC except TGs. I'm glad TG is a fresh start for at least some diversity against the XC decks. Hope it does well. But honestly, I don't know how to hit Water Xyz. No, Water Xyz are actually so much better. And I speak this personally, I thought Onomats had a better matchup against Water Xyz. But I can see that out of all of the turn 1 boards, even if I true nade, Water Xyz actually still hurts pretty much. Especially since they sometimes just hold on to it. Because you're not always going to have Bolt and Wind as a priority. They kind of hold on to it to the Xyz and that kind of screws you over. And it's not like when Blue Eye sits on a spirit, you can just bait by summoning Bouncer instead of M7 and they're kind of screwed. It doesn't work like that with Water Xyz. Although for now, Water Xyz aren't even that common because it's a relatively super expensive deck. But technically, Automats is also expensive as well. Although, one of the main blocks and one of the main blocks you only run in it like once, so, <laughs> so there's probably that. But there's still the main box and the structure, there's still the other two main box and the structure deck. <laughs> oh, Fatal 5, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh, this is the last one, right? Uh, yeah. But that's most of my thoughts. I don't like how people say Noble Knights are dead when they literally have everything. The Anomat, uh, wanting to hit Anomat is completely understandable as an Anomat player myself. I can speak for that. But it's also too early to hit it, same with Water Xyz. Thunder Dragons aren't doing that much. Blue Eyes ironically aren't doing that much either, especially since I think they're the ones that can mostly break next to Thunders. And that's all I really have to say about the meta. The only other thing I want to mention is that I do love to see uh, Tech Genus succeed. I love it. Uh, that's it's it's such a rant. It's a ramble. Sorry if this is not kind of content you want to see, but hey, it it is what it is. Anyway, the next video will actually be me showing ten duels of ten win straights of reaching the cog. Yeah, I actually went on weeks on a win streak from End Legend 3 to COD, which is actually pretty good. I didn't thought I would actually get a win streak over the last two ranks, which I feel pretty proud of. Oh, but this duel, this duel right here, this is the cake. This takes the cake. Cheating, Stars, Hera, Dark Lords, and I hate it so much. See. With so much draw advantage, non-targeting negation, and then hand looping, all those things in combination is what made this deck degenerate and it's understandable why it was addressed so quickly. I mean, you could say it was tier 0. Oh, this would have been perfect if I have the rank 6 that requires tier materials. I would bounce that, but, and then I would draw a card, but this is still lethal. Uh, no, not lethal though, that's a problem. They gain so much life points, it's stupid. Yeah, this is this goes to show Star Sarah. Oh yeah, I almost forgot one thing! I don't agree with what grows in the graveyard being hit! I really don't! And I'm not gonna lie, Spore Combo still kinda sucks. It takes way too much of the extra deck, it's nothing more than a neat able to put something on the board with one card, it doesn't really generate advantage. And with cards like Abyss Dweller running around, that thing going second would have done nothing. Actually, it's a terrible matchup, yet they hit the skill anyway. 
I thought Abyss Dweller exists in Mate What's Gross in a Graveyard, not as broken, but apparently that doesn't matter. I'm mostly mad because my Synchro Toolbox deck is now gonna be unplayable, and I'm glad for the Transcending Crystal buff. When it, when the Bandless, uh, when the when the Bandless is active, I'm definitely gonna show off a Rainbow Dragon deck. But I'm mad that they're taking this away from me. You know when I said that they could have re-nerfed Transcending Crystals by requiring to do Crystal Beast, I believe I did mention that, and that's exactly what they end up doing by buffing the skill and it's still being uh, the same kind of hit so other decks can't abuse it. Why couldn't they done that with what grows in the graveyard? How would I hit the skill? Well, you can only play Rose Dragon plant types in the main deck and the extra deck has to be Synchros, only Synchros, no XCs. Because this actually stops the Spore combo that we're probably worried about. Because it requires non-plants and XCs. And limited to plants, fairly like... They couldn't make it... This could have been the plant version of Territory of the Shark if they just nerfed it that way instead of the lazy life point requirement making the skill borderline unplayable. I can't play this anymore. And I wanted to make a video on it, but I don't want to bother since a lot there's just a lot of them around in YouTube anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm mad about this because the hit is also uncalled for, the skill didn't do anything, and plant support my ass. It, it's supposed to help synchro decks. I can't think of a plant deck that even uses Dark Verge that abusively. Like, I think it's literally just Spore. And this deck that's all there is but yeah I'm tilted about that and a lot of people kind of agree how uncalled for what gross hit kind of is when it did nothing you know the other consistency skills was understandable because noble knights would have switched to spell specialist or my monster card although in my opinion my monster cards basically doesn't exist anymore what's the point of seeing monsters in your hand if you can't Special summon them or activate their effects. It, it, it's really redundant. But other than that, yeah. Well, this was me just ranting about a lot of stuff. It's disorganized as all heck. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one where I will show you 10 in a row. I think I did more, but I can't resave more than the last 10 duels. But yeah, it, it's a win streak. From Legend of War to Cog. And I'll see you guys then.